Hello and welcome to the gaming element today here with Chris and I'm playing a game that TJ has sent me on Steam called uh, The 39 Steps or 39 Steps or that number of steps in some type of context. So this is rotate your mouse in a clockwise direction to advance the technique. Clockwise that way. Left to hold. Oh, oh. Anti-clockwise makes you go back. Okay, I get it, okay, okay. Okay, come on. Come, come, come. I'm going clock. Why won't it work now? Come on. There we go. When you reach the end of the string of your text, you will see a diamond. Simply left-click anywhere to advance the scene, moving the story forward. Okay. 39 Steps is a largely a pointer-free experience. But when you see one, that's your cue to interact. <gasps> yeah, it's a pointer. Apartment. I've no idea what this game is, by the way. But we'll see. Some locations can be explored. Okay. When in explore mode, you can click and drag the mouse to look around. Okay. You can also interact with glowing objects. Okay. So, that's glowing. Dear Mr. Hane. Oh, I'm in my apartment. Click the image to zoom. Ah. These are values Think of everything, don't we? Think of everything. Welcome to England. Okay, I'm here on my life, but hey, we'll be in character. I'll pretend to be Hannah Way. Hannah, Hannah, Han, Han, whatever. Han, we'll call you Han, Mr. Han for sure. Okay. Welcome to England. I hope your journey from that place, uh, the Rhodesia, that place, that road with I, I don't know, was not too arduous. Would you like to come into the bank and we can discuss matters regarding your Rhodesian mining shares? If you could please make an appointment with my clerk in... My clerk, Mr. Scoop, on Temple 6733. Yours sincerely, Mr. Edward Ainsley, manager at Bennings Bank. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Ainsley. Back we go. Eight. Can I, uh, I can look around, okay. Uh, oh, not very much. Okay, uh, was there anything else? What's, what's this now? Okay, back we go. Okay, done. <laughs> Awarded the graduate. Congratulations, you made it through the first short tutorial and have been given the war for your efforts. There are 50 more of these to collect. You will, be short, you will shortly begin your journey through the 39 steps. All progress, progress, progress will be auto-saved, but you can also see bookmarks, manage your progress and revisit key scenes. Right click or hit spacebar to return to the menu screen during play. This also acts as a pause. Okay. New event, the wrong ditch. Oh, I don't like the sound of that. It's a bit spooky the music. So, uh, the wrong ditch. Here we go. I am freezing. It's very cold. Very cold. Monday, the 18th of May, 1914, London, England. <gasps> This is it long before World War One. Oh. Very pretty there, isn't it? The Union Jack flying out there. I returned from the city on that May afternoon. Pretty well disgusted with life. Oh dear. I had been three months in the old country. The old country. I was fed up with it. Don't blame you. Don't blame you. I couldn't live in the country. 
the people always say they can live in the country, but you'd be there for like five minutes and get bored because you live in pig shit. Yeah. Oh. So, what's this then? So, Richard oh, oh Hanley, my God. you have got into the wrong ditch, my friend, and you had better climb out. Well, Richard Hannay. What do I do? Okay. Uh, what? Richard Hannay, working man. I had earned my pile, not one of the big ones, but good enough for me. I had put in three years prospecting for copper in German Damara land and spoke the German tongue pretty fluidly. I went on to become the mining engineer in Kimberley where I when I was instrument where I was instrumental to the formation of De Beers Consolidated Mines. Diamonds mines were rough business. <laughs> oh God. But good men lost in horrific accidents. Okay. Done. I don't I don't understand what this is. Teenager. I spent much of my time by the Zambezi where I would fish. These are several hundred species in its waters including the infamous tiger fish and Zambezi shark. The wide open spaces of the Veld also interested me greatly and the various methods of survival in such an incom uncompromising landscape. Child? My, thought, my father had brought me out from Scotland to South Africa at the age of six and I've never been home since I grew up in Cape, Country, Cape Colony, which was then under British rule. Ah, so I get it. Okay, so he lives in South Africa, that's why he went to the Zambezi. Teenager, he went to the Zambezi. He was a soldier. Served the British forces during the Matabele. I'm pretty sure that's not how you say it, but anyway. Conflict and was decorated for my role. I served two years with the Imperial Light Horse and was an intelligence officer at Delgua Bay in the Second Delgua War. I lost many friends during those wars. Imperial Light Horse? What's the, was that poem? The Light Brigade? Charge the Light Brigade. Is that a different thing? I don't know. Ooh, I'm not. What's that there? That's like a really big country. I'm guessing this is when like Britain and France ruled all of um, Africa. It's time for Africa. My final years in Africa were in the municipality. I hate that word. Municipality of Bulbulawayo, where I had fought during the Metabelli War. I resided once again with my father, who had taken ill. After he died, I decided to leave the Cape and head, head back to the old country. The Cape down here, is it Cape? Cape Verde? Cape Horn in South America. Cape Verde, we're gonna go for that. Then if it's right. If you're wrong, tell me. A lot of imperialist ladies asked me to tea to meet some schoolmasters from New Zealand and editors from Vancouver. And that was the most dismal business of all. I had no real pal to go about with, which probably explains things. Plenty of people invited me to their houses, but they didn't seem much interested in me. Ah, oh, poor Mr. Richard Hassan. Hannay. I had counted on stopping in London for the rest of my days, but from the first, I was disappointed with it. I was the best bored man in England. England's great. Fuck you, Mr. Hannay. England's the best. Here was I, 37 years old, sound in wind and limb, and enough money to have a good time yawning my head off all day. Collected of Richard Hannay. I had a long drink and read the evening papers. They were full of the row. They were full of the row in the Near East, and there was an article about Caroline's the Greek Premier. From all accounts, he seemed the one big man in the show, and he played a straight game too, which is more than could be said for most of them. Food on it, like gammon. <laughs> hate ham. 
Ham is rank. What can I do? Well stuck bookshelves. Oh, a map. I've got a map right there. Someone had loaded the cylinder player. I felt a deep nostalgia for my homeland of Scotland as Annie Laurie filled the room. Oh, I want to sing. I've got a fire. A roaring fire. It looks cosy, doesn't it? Looks cosy. Oh, we're at the Colonial Club. I can look around, can I? Ish. Oh, what have I found here? Oh, God, who's that? Who are you, sir? Balkan affairs test Europe. Uh, so this is leading up to the war. Albanian uprising. Twelve pages for one penny. Now that's a good deal there. Who's this guy here? Is there an annotation to the picture? He sees, he reasons, he buys. Can I turn the page? Oh, very interesting. There's the map. Oh. Colonial Club fireplace. Mm, okay. Oh, what's this in here? The observer. What's it? I'm just gonna... Still going today, the observer. Good old observer. Still a newspaper. Oh, we're leaving the Colonial Club. Who's that statue there? And there's Big Ben in the background. I think. About six o'clock I went home. It's an early night in. Oh, oh my god. Okay. So we go going from St. James's Square. Uh, where are we going? Where the hell are we? Dark, foggy road. It's a house. My flat was the first floor in a new block behind Lankham Place. Enter. There was no restaurants or anything of that sort. Each flat was quite shut off from the others. Oh, it's one of the old lifts where you have to... I actually went in one of them, believe it or not. Believe it or not. Um, where's mine? Honey. Oh, I can't read that. Dear Richard, how is London? I do hope Paddock is looking after you well, and that your look of the horses is lasting out. Tell to what it is, now here's a tale for you. Last month in the Kalahari, I found myself in a tight spot. After two days on the plain, I lost my way and couldn't find the river. I was forced to go on without water for three days, and five without a morsel of food, save for a few mopane worms. An excellent source of protein which steered me away from starvation. <laughs> then I ran into the old chief, to whom my owed money. Because of my debt, he refused to help me, and so I had to continue on my feet. The desert is not a kind place to any man, but I made it out. And the man in the... Tang... Tangariki's... Tang that place we went to that time, when we, uh, we went to that desert place and built sandcastles. That, you know the place, it sounds a bit like teriyaki, or a bit tango at the front, you know the place. Sold me a Rhodesian Ridgeback, which will be a partner in my future hunts, and is also what Harry Potter fought in the fourth film in the Harry Potter franchise. I have named the animal Shaka, after the old Zulu chief, and will take him to the Gongo, down to the Gongo, 
with me where I go for the elephants. I plan to leave next week if I can get my new rifle finished in time. Yours, Peter Pina. That was a man, apparently. Oh dear, he has a very high voice. Sorry, Peter. I do apologize. Okay, what is this? Dear Richard, how is London? Oh, we read that. Uh, are we... Okay, we, 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 we've read it. Peter, stop it. You're being very... What's this? What are you? No? Okay, we shall... We shall ascend. Open. Oh. Hey, up. Draw the symbols. That way. That way. That way. And we're in. Hey, up. Am I a ghost? Oh. Paddock? That's me home. I'll be heading out for dinner. Collecting paddock. I hate servants on the premises, so I had a fellow to look after me who came in by the day. He arrived before 8 o'clock every morning and used to depart at 7, for I never dined at home. <laughs> Too good to dine at home. <laughs> I don't like that I can't see myself. It's kind of freaky. Not that tired. <laughs> oh god, that made me yawn. <sighs> right, where are we going now? We're going down. New oh god, you bomb past Hanover Square. What's that? Regent Street. That evening I dined at the Cafe of the Royal and then headed elsewhere for entertainment. Where are we going for entertainment? Leicester Square. Good choice there. Uh, what's my name? It's not Peter, was it? Patrick. It was a bit handy, wasn't it? Something. An evening's entertainment. Leicester Square or the music halls. Pfft, Leicester Square. On this particular evening, I wandered to Leicester Square, where the most the resplendent theatre of varieties could be found. A show at the Alhambra caught my eye, though one could never be quite sure of the act until it had been seen. Music halls. The countless music halls of London are one of the passing the evenings away. Well, one way of passing the evenings away. Farces of all styles played a conspicuous part. <laughs> I'm so bad at reading. Conspicuous. Conspicuous, conspicuous part in the week's bill. Okay. Do I have to choose one? Okay, done. I don't know where I went. Uh, it was a silly show. I did not stay long. You're such a bore. What a boring people. I eat out every night. That show was far too silly. Then people need to measure. Oh, it's a starry night. Surprised you can see it because of smoggy England. Oh, look at the stars! Is that the plough? Oh! On the way home, I gave half a crown to a beggar because I saw him yawn. He was a fellow sufferer. Wow. What music? I made a vow I would give the old country another day to fit me into something. What the fuck was that? So is the old country England? Why is it called the old country? So it's up yawning now. If nothing happened, I would take the next boat to, for the Cape. That's a long journey. I hope we don't have to sit on a boat for that long. Oh no. Oh. Sorry, I accidentally right clicked. Clipped? Right clicks there. Oh. Oh no, we were meant to do that. Okay, well this is a good place to stop. I think we'll just do one an episode, one step, I think this is, isn't it, I'm guessing. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, comment if you want to see more of this. Like if you want to see more of this. Subscribe if you want to see more of this. If you want to see playing something else. Uh, comment or you know, do something. Get in touch with us. Um, what's this fucking music? Uh, there's going to be 
a lot of new stuff coming out. We've got a new Minecraft series coming out. If you want to have a look at that, there's a trailer for it on the channel as we speak already. That's um, a new Minecraft series. Something very different going to happen. We're going to be doing podcasting and playing the Batman games. We're going to be playing Borderlands. There's a lot coming, so stay with us. We li- I know there's not been much out lately, but TJ's literally moving house like today. So it's all hectic and he's not had internet and he's been sick and oh, it's been a hectic time for TJ. So I'll see you all next time for some more 39 steps maybe or maybe something else. Who knows? Bye!